Hey everybody, Hearth and Home is here and Iron Gate has just dropped the uh, update notes for us. And they start off here with saying a little poem where the grass grows underfoot and the sky is blue overhead. There will always be a Hearth and Home. Spoilers ahead, if you want to discover the rest of the content yourself, you might not want to read this post just yet. Another month has passed since we spoke to you last, and what a month it has been. First of all, the feedback from our cinematic trailer was incredible, and it has been great to see so many excited comments ahead of the update. But now the wait is finally over. Vikings Hearth and Home releases today. We're incredibly excited to bring our first major update to you all, as well as a new video to show off some of the new gameplay. And yes, the update is out right now. You can update your, your game on Steam and play it. Uh, let's watch this new video they've released. Let's go through this real quick and just take a look at some of these images. So here's a house they've built with some of the new build pieces. You can see at the top, they've got the raven. They've got the wolf with the new shingled roof. Looks like we've got some inverted uh, sloped pieces here for the roof. Oh, check this out. We've got new big doors for your house. Oh, I love that. The doors that we've had are just not very cool looking if you want to build some kind of epic uh, entrance to your building. In this picture here, we've got some kind of new wood stacks. Not sure what that is. Maybe uh, it's a birch wood stacks. Maybe we have different types of wood stacks or something. Uh, and look at this picture. We can now breed locks. We've got a little baby locks. His fur is a light color. Oh, look at him. So cute. And then this thing, the obliterator. This is going to destroy items so you don't have to leave them laying around anymore or run them far away from your base so they'll despawn when you drop them in the ground or in the water or something. Let's watch it obliterate something again. And then here, here's that hot tub. We have a new Viking hot tub. I wonder if that's going to increase the comfort level. I have to get in game and check it out. And in this photo we have Looks like new chairs. Check that out. New chairs. We have gold stacks on the table, gold piles in the background there. Lots of new build pieces, decorative build pieces, these kind of uh, Nordic knots here. And check out this pic right here. We have a new map that's going to allow us to share our progress, I'm guessing. The map reveal to our uh, friends that we play with on a server. Been wanting that for a long time. And in this photo right here on the left, you'll see the new bone tower shield that thing looks awesome and then there's a new creature that spits this black stuff and seems pretty dangerous to get in game and figure out what that is okay continuing with their notes it says as many of you will know from the series of short spotlight videos the hearth and home update brings plenty of new content to valheim expanding your gameplay options by introducing new mechanics Furniture, building pieces, food, weapons, optimizations, and more. The name of the update is Hearth and Home, which means that the cooking and the building got a bit of extra attention. For all you builders out there, we have added a whole bunch of new building pieces and furniture ranging everywhere from sturdy shingle roofs to a mighty stone throne. And you see in this image right here, there's the stone throne there in the background. New chairs around the table. We've also done our best to listen to community feedback and several highly requested features have made their way into this update. You'll now be able to share map data with other Vikings in your world, find seeds to plant more types of trees, and finally destroy your unwanted items with the new obliterator. There's the obliterator. So you don't have all this junk lying around anymore. 
if taming animals is your thing, you'll now find that you can name your favorite pets. We also suggest that you spend some extra time with your locks. As we saw in their video, they can have little babies now. We can breed them. Gortha locks loves you. Okay, and here we have the actual patch notes for Hearth and Home. Weapons rebalanced. All weapons have been rebalanced to be more viable as a main weapon and also have more unique play styles. We saw the two-ended axe is going to have some improvements and the knives are going to be faster. Blocking system has been overhauled. Current maximum hit points now greatly affects your ability to block attacks. Stagger bar and GUI has been added. Naming tamed creatures. That's a feature I know that we've all wanted for a while. Gortha locks loves you. Some gamepad sensitivity settings. Auto pickup toggle button added. Ah, oh, that's the great quality of life improvement there. Graphic settings, active point lights and active point light shadows. I'll have to investigate that some more. Tamed creatures affected by friendly fire setting. You can't hurt a tamed creature unless you enable friendly fire or use the new butcher knife item. So that's good. So you don't accidentally kill your pets or your livestock and various other improvements and bug fixes. Then for food, we have food rebalance. Most food items now give mainly stamina or mainly health to make food choices more interesting. The food GUI overhauled to work better with the rebalanced food. Over 10 new things to eat, actually 12. And in the world, tamed locks now have a purpose. We know that we can breed them from the video. Wonder if they serve some other kind of purpose, maybe a pack meal. That would be great. Slimy locations and creatures added to planes. Ooh, can't wait to find out what that is. New plantable seeds. We can now plant birch, oak, and onions. New items, crystal battle axe and a silver knife. New shields, bone tower shield, which we saw in the video, and an iron buckler. A butcher knife, the special weapon for butchering tamed animals. Thunderstone, sold by the trader. Wonder if that has to do with the obliterator, the item for destroying the items that you drop. And a locks accessory. Hmm, I think it's too much wishful thinking that it would be a saddle, but it, uh, maybe it's like um, saddle bags or something so that it can work as a, a pack mule carry stuff for you, I have to check it out. Okay, and building, new dark wood building pieces like shingle roofs, beams, decorations, and more. New types of furniture, including but not limited to a mighty stone throne and a steamy Viking hot tub. Viking hot tub, Viking hot tub. Crystal walls, crystal walls, hmm, interesting. New types of stacks to show off your treasure and resources. Cauldron improvements, we have a spice rack, butcher's table, pots and pans, cartography table for sharing map data with other players, and an oven has been added for baking bread and pie, obliterator added, items be gone, and an iron cooking station required to cook some types of meat. While many features introduced in Hearth and Home have already been revealed, not even Odin has spied some of the new features being added with the update, including something dark and mysterious that seems to spread across the plains. Brave Vikings should go and find out for themselves. I hope you all enjoy the new content and want to thank you all again for your continued support as we continue our journey through early access together. Skull! And here we have the Iron Gate team who's worked very hard on this update for us. Let's a quick look at the update notes. I'm going to hop in game and take a look at some of this stuff up close. So stay tuned for that video coming out next. That's it for now. Have fun out there. <laughs>